All right, guys, bait demo time again. Often we end up in our deep freeze with a whole bunch of old bait. And especially guys like us that live on the coast, we always try and get fresh bait and fresh bait to fish with. And then at the end of the season, you look at your deep freeze and just bags and bags of old bait. And what I usually do is I stack the old bait and throw it away. But it's a lot of money you're throwing away. So I've started using this old bait, not for my competition fishing, more for my social fishing. When I go down to the beach for a social throw, there's quite a lot of fish around and you don't have to be too finesse about your bait. So I take all this old bait and I use it up on those practice days, I can call them my social fishing days. So I'm gonna show you guys what I do with my old bait and this one specific bait that I've been using for a while now that's working well and just a way of getting rid of your old bait without discarding it and losing some money. All right, so I've got a bunch of old mackerel here and the trick about this bait is to take out the gills and the guts of your old bait. So this is once again a very smelly bait generally for your summer fishing and especially in our case in coastline so i would go when the diamonds are feeding at Tanzania at the banks and i go there and i know they're not fussy they eat anything and that's a specific day where i take all my old bait and make this bait to catch them all right so what i'm gonna do with this specific bait is i've got a, a mackerel here which i'm gonna use as the base and then all these old mackerel i'm just gonna take the gills and the guts out the rest i'm gonna throw in the ocean so just basically Cut out the belly like this. So I've got the gill plates. It's a very messy bait, but that's all idea. And the gut. Keep that. That's all the flavor and all the blood. I'm going to do it with all these mackerel. Now, because it's old bait, you don't actually care about wasting, or you're going to discard it anyway. So that should be enough for that specific bait. It's nice when it's defrosted because then everything's nice and soft. And then we're going to take our, our base. Basically we're just going to use either a piece of the body section or a head section, whatever you want to do, and build all of this stuff around it. Right, so when it comes to your base, you can do what you want. We've got that nice little ball bait we make these days. So you're going to have your dingle with a, a piece of float on the inside. Shape a piece of the back or whichever one or the bait you're using as a base to a nice round piece and then put all this around for this one i'm not going to put a dingle through it i'm just going to take the head cut it off in fact this i'm going to take out this belly as well because it's old bait and throw it away anyway add that to my belly and, and gill section it's going to give us a bit of a shape So that I get a bit of flavor coming out of it as well. Slice it up, much flavor coming out of there. Alright, so we basically ready to build a bait, grab our chock hammer, and smash up all these gills and guts a bit. Just so it's easy to shape around the bait. There's a lot of flavor in this bait. That's one of the key parts of this bait are the gills and the guts. All your old bait. Even if you've got some old chocolate, you can add chock pieces of chocolate in here, whatever you feel like. Alright, so when that is all smashed up, 
you grab a hook, you go through our head. Obviously, if you had a dingle, you'll be looking through the dingle. And now we're just going to take all of this and start adding it on and just cutting it up. Very messy story, but very, very smelly. and just cut this on. A little bit of shape these are my hands. Alright, so let me just put some cotton on all of this. As you can see, it's a very, very messy bait. And a lot of juices and stuff coming out of it. And that's it. Finish off your cotton. And that is that old messy bait. It's like all your old bait. Got a purpose for it. There's so much flavor in this. And if you say social fishing, getting rid of your old bait, this is one way to do it.